Hi guys and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So in the last episode we looked at how you can utilize Studio One Prime even if you're using a different DAW just to compensate its weaknesses a bit. Specifically when it comes to time stretching where the Studio One algorithm is just far superior. And even if that is really not of interest to you, but there's a really great sounding plugin that you love that is included with Studio One Prime, well even then it might be perfect to hold on to Studio One even if you're using a different software. Because drag and drop, this phenomenal principle that I showed you in the songwriting stage, is also possible between two different programs. And I'm gonna show you that right now. All right guys, so now I wanna introduce you to a workflow that is quite unconventional, but super cool and inspiring if you try it out for yourself. So I have Ableton Live 10 here open in conjunction with Studio One Prime. And as you can see, I can run them side by side each other. Absolutely no problem there. The idea is that I have an Ableton loop here, but I would really like to process it with plugins from Studio One, because let's say I'm happy with my Ableton workflow or I'm a seasoned producer and spent many years perfecting my Ableton workflow and I'm not willing or ready yet to switch entirely over to Studio One. But I still want the amazing sounding plugins such as Empire, Red Light Distortion or Mixverb if you're into these 80s gated reverb effects. It's brilliant for that. So think about how you would do this in a traditional DAW setup. First you would have to export the loop from Ableton Live, then you would have to bring it into your other DAW, then you would have to apply the effects, then you would have to render again, then you would have to go back into the Windows Explorer or Finder, locate the exported file and then bring it back to Ableton. It's basically a very convoluted and complicated process that's super time consuming and you really shouldn't go for that unless you're desperately needing that other plugin from that other DAW right now. But check it out how cool that is with Ableton and Studio One. So first let me play this loop here for you really quickly. Okay, and now I wanna get that processed with some great sounding Studio One effects. So all that I do is literally just grab the clip and bring it over just like that to Studio One. Isn't that cool? There's no bouncing in between. There's no Windows Explorer or Finder windows that I have to open to drag in between. It's all possible between these DAWs. So what I can do now is just select our effects. As you can see, I select a preset and get it on here. Or I could just open up an effects chain, which is basically just a chain of different plugins and you can store that in one single preset in Studio One. In this case, it's a preset that I made for amplifying loops. So I really like to run my electronic dance loops through something like Empire, which is a guitar bass amp simulation, but it works great for that as well. And uh, yeah, I just drag that in the drag and drop philosophy of Studio One. And as you can see, I have all three effects applied now. The Empire, our great sounding channel strip and the mix verb. Now let's listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Okay, and now all I have to do is literally just right click that, go to event, then choose mix down selection. As you can see, mix down has been created. I go to my files tab, I just drop that anywhere I want and back into my Ableton Live, just like that. And now I can play both at the same time and you judge for yourself. That's the original loop in Ableton Live. And let's bring them in together. So yeah, I think this is such a cool way of taking advantage of Ableton Live and Studio One Prime at the same time. If you're an Ableton Live user, you should definitely add Studio One to your setup. All right, guys, that's from me, and I hope you find this workflow inspiring. Talk to you next time.